It was all new and bred for action. Nineteen fifty eight was the fifth production year for America's sports car, and it had already come a long way since the first six cylinder powered VET appeared back in nineteen fifty three. Corvette received a facelift for fifty eight, with the most noticeable changes being the addition of two more headlights up front and two chrome spears added to the rear deck. There were numerous other subtle changes as well, but the look was unmistakable as a Corvette with performance options available to back up the sporty good looks. The base engine was a 283 cube overhead valve V8 building a respectable 230 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque at 3000 RPM. The standard transmission was, well, a standard transmission featuring three forward speeds, but a four-speed or a two-gear automatic power glide transmission were optional. This one features the 230 horsepower 283 and the four-speed, a combo good for above average performance considering the 3,200 pound loaded curb weight. Orange valve covers with 230 callouts are the giveaway to the entry-level engine, as the hotter multi-carb or fuel-injected 283s featured not only more exotic induction, but different valve covers as well. The top engine for 58 was a Rochester fuel-injected 283, producing 290 gross horsepower when ordered with the high-performance camshaft. About a thousand of those were built out of a total of 9,168 58 Corvettes. And while this one does not pack the same punch, it's long on late 1950s sports car style. Corvette was all new for 1958, and part of Chevrolet's mission was to establish this car as a true sports car. The color is a one-year Corvette blend called Signet Red. And in case you're wondering, a Signet is the little symbol you mush into a hot blob of wax on a fancy letter. But hot blob of wax red didn't quite have the mystique of Signet. We think it looks outstanding on this car, especially with the contrasting snow crest white body coves and white wall tires. 1958 saw other car makers using the highest amounts of chrome ever stuck on cars, but the Corvette somehow escaped all that. The Corvette maintains a near perfect balance of basic and bling, with subtle details like three short splits in the cove, which is surrounded by light polished trim. It's got delicate bumpers and a toothy grill that floats in the chrome-framed opening. The Siamese headlight rings flow back into light fender spears, and we dig the cool concave Corvette emblem on the nose. The hood features a louvered center flanked by two long bulges, almost like the 57 Chevy Bel Air, but without the chrome rocket tips on the front. Twin chrome strips spill off the rear deck, lining up with points on the rear bumper. And the taillights are among the slickest ever, with a flush-mounted red dome lens framed in thin chrome trim. Inside, the Corvette interior is just about as stylish as the exterior. We love the twin seats separated by the waterfall divider, and the dash is sculpted around a large 160 mile an hour speedometer with round gauges sunk in below. This one also features the rev counter in the tachometer, keeping tabs on every press of the gas pedal. An AM radio and vent controls occupy the big dash center console, and the thin four-speed shifter stands tall from the transmission tunnel. The ashtray to its side adds visual balance to the offset shifter. And passengers have a grab handle on the dash, framed by a charcoal gray concave surround. And the steering wheel is kind of racy, but a bit large, making these kind of tight for bigger drivers. Door panels have swoopy inserts in charcoal gray framed with bright trim. It's really nice looking stuff. 
In a stark contrast to the overinflated advertising terminology used today, advertisements for the 1958 Corvette called the engine and driving mannerisms almost incredible. Corvette suspension was improving every year, and although these handled better than most cars on the road in 1958, now they kind of leave much to be desired compared to today's Corvette. But the wheel covers and skinny white walls do look cool, despite their lack of ability. Overall, these are great looking cars and are certainly enjoyable for nice winding cruises in the country on warm sunny days. Almost incredible or not, this 1958 Corvette is an amazing look at just how far America's sports car has come. Did you know you can subscribe to our channel to get updates whenever we publish a new video? You can just click that little button to give it a try. And we'll see you next time with another cool car from the Brothers Collection on Muscle Car of the Week.